OG Duffy Eats, find myself outside the Wimpy. Not had one of these in years, so we're gonna go in and see if it lives up to our memories. It used to be like a posh McDonald's with a knife and fork. See how if it's changed and if it still lives up to the memories I have. Oh yes. Oh, mate. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Start by perusing the menu, and there are a few of the old classics that I remember. Basically, you should just do basic burgers, and uh, I can remember when they introduced. I think it was the uh, the chicken burger. They also do some sort of meals now, and there it is. Look, the Bender Burger. <laughs> If you're from the UK, who remembers the Bender Burger? Oh, yes. Now, the problem with a Bendy Burger was I was always just a creature of habit, so I always went for the quarter pounder with cheese, so uh, very rarely had one. Then on to the drinks, and there it is, look. Oh, yes, a thick shake. I opted for the vanilla, uh, but I also do a wimpy float there. Look, you choose your, your drink with a dollop of ice cream. First up, guys, a milkshake. Give that a go. I had one of these in years. Now, although this was £4.20, this was rather tasty, lovely and thick. So, uh, yeah, great. A £4 vanilla milkshake. Actually very, very tasty. Really good. Old guys thought they better than Maccas. Although I think Maccas have changed. I think it's since they did away with the straws. Don't get me wrong, that's a paper straw still, but it's actually very, very tasty, right? Mmm. That's a good, thick milkshake. Proper ice cream in that lovely jubbly. Well recommended so far, so good. This was served up to me. Now, first things first, right, is, do you know what? It was hot. Honestly, it was hot, hot, hot. Over hot. In a good way, you know, because every time I go to Macca's, their food is, they, you never get hot food in Mac, McDonald's ever. But this was, uh, this was really hot, as I'll say. But anyway, nice dose of the salt there, because I do love a bit of salt on my chips. And I put some on my burger as well, and I was ready now to tuck in. Got quite excited. Um, not too full, the restaurant, actually. There's only a handful of people, I think, but we come to that at the end, the reason for that being. Uh, but anyway, look. These chips are just how I like my chips. They're crispy, they were golden, they were lovely, deep fried, but as you can see there, my God, were they hot. They really were. I even had to take a slurp of my shake just to cool my palate down. So all in all, it started brilliantly, honestly. These chips, just that, perfect, just how I like chips. Now I've got a real disgruntle at the moment. When I go to like a kebab shop in the area and have uh, uh, meat and chips, kebab and chips, whatever, the chips are always undercooked. They're like almost anemic, you know? It, are they trying to save money? Oh, I don't know, but these guys here, they've got it right. Well done, Wimpy. And finishing my chips before that main course. Now, I've always done this, even as a kid. I used to always finish the chips first before getting to the pie or the burger or the sausage or whatever. Always done it, always done it. It's like you're saving the best till last. Now, this burger, right, I don't think the, the camera picks up actually how big it was. I could have had an extra beef patty in here if I wanted, you know, but that would have just been... Uh, ridiculous as you can see there right there was one issue with these burgers which we'll come to shortly but I'll tell you what they've got the right balance of ingredients in this there's a right amount of lettuce the right amount of cheese the right amount of sauce the right amount of onions and and the beef patties are really really nicely cooked uh, well done nice and meaty as you'd expect a decent burger to be no cartilage or eyelids or hoofs or anything like that in sight. It was really, really good, guys. But the problem I had with it was this, right? It was, uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm about halfway through it now. And I'll tell you what, it was lovely and hot. As you can see, the steam was still coming out of it there. Look how hot this is. But, my God, was it filling. This isn't like McDonald's, guys, where you eat plastic food and you feel half empty. Oh, no. I was full with this, guys. But the problem was this. They only gave me one serviette. So I had to take a break in the meal, go up and ask for a couple more serviettes to clean up. But my God, was it good. It was worth it. Anyway, let's get the bill paid. It's very nice. Yeah, it's Thank you very much. Very enjoyable. Filled me up, not like McDonald's. Thank you. <laughs> 
Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers, all the best. So welcome back, guys. That was Wimpy. Yes. So a bit of insight for those that aren't sure what Wimpy is or are not from the UK. Well, Wimpy, really, growing up for me, was the equivalent of McDonald's. Back then, when I was a, a wee nipper, <laughs> McDonald's was not on every street corner. There was no such thing as a drive through There was no such thing as anything like that, fast food as such. Uh, in respect of, you could go to a fish and chip shop and get a bag of chips and, a, a, you know, a cod or a sausage and chips or a pie, if you were that way inclined. But uh, very rarely did we have any sort of thing outside of that in terms of sort of fast food. But... These places sprung up, Wimpy, sprung up all across the UK. They're more like you go in and you sit down. You can get takeaways in them, but they're always sort of for their sit-down benefit more than anything else. So we had these prior to McDonald's invading our shores. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. So Wimpy, been around for years. They uh, were, were huge at one point, and then uh, overnight, really, they sort of died off gradually, gradually, gradually. Oh, yeah. Now, my local town, the one I visited, we had a wimpy there for years and years and years, and it was brilliant. It was always our go-to every time we sort of down the town doing a bit of shopping and stuff. But unfortunately, they closed up. I think the people there owned it, just retired. And then a few years later, the one I visited today opened up, okay? You don't see as many wimpies now as we used to have, but... They are almost slowly coming back a little bit. Now, as we can see that, I went in. I ordered the shake. Now, first things first. The milkshake tastes exactly how I remember them from the original um, Wimpy. And I think that's what's truly unique about this experience is it just hasn't changed in terms of flavour over all them years, you know? Um, so that was it. Was a good shake. And if I had to compare that to a McDonald's shake, honestly, there, there's no competition, guys. Get yourself to Wimpy just for a milkshake. they Pucker, mate, they are decent. And do you know what? Their cardboard straw actually holds up. It's stuck for the whole duration of that milkshake. And not once did, I, did it collapse or, or bend in and got soggy. And Oh, McDonald's, what are you doing with them straws? It's put me right off. Seriously, your milkshake, it really has. I know we've got to go plastic free and all that. But anyway, we're digressing again. But Wimpy, they've got their straws right, Maccas, to go learn a lesson off them guys. And then we come on to the food. Now... First things first, then chips, the burger. It was piping hot. Every McDonald's here in the UK I visit, no matter, it, it, I can go up, all place my order, I can get my order in a bag, and I'm going to sit down straight away, and the, the fries straight away are lukewarm. That's always the case. You very, very rarely here in the UK get hot fries. That's not just me, guys, is it? Drop in the comments. That's not just me. And those fries. Or chips, as we refer to them here in the UK. Now, they are really, really good. For me, it's cooked to perfection. I like my uh, chips just crispy enough, you know. A nice layer of salt on there. Oh, yes. And do you know what? They were mega, mega hot. I had to let them cool. As you can see in the video, I was really... Oh, this is hot, man. But it's a good thing, unlike Maccas. Uh, anyway, we digress once more. So the chips were perfect for me. Um, but the one thing as well... No matter what wimpy I've been to, the chips are always the same. Now, as you could see there, that burger had a lot going on. I mean, you had you, 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 it was it was just so good. It really, really was. Um, but the thing is, right towards the end there, I got to like that final probably twenty percent of the burger, and do you know what? I was thinking, oh, I'm going to leave this because I was stuffed, mate. I was full. Um, but I couldn't, I couldn't let that stay there, could I? And I ate it, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. The meat patties were great. Everything in there was great. A great mix of the sauce, great mix of cheese, great mix of onion, great mix... Honestly, it's a, such a great, great burger, and very, very filling. So let's go to the positives, and let's go to the negatives, and my all-important rating. The positives. Quite simple. A knife and fork made of metal. Oh, yes. British Sheffield steel, no doubt. Not cut you, you know what I mean? A knife and fork. Brilliant. And do you know what? It was on a plate. A plate made in like China. Oh, happy days. This is how we were brought up here in the UK, eating these fast food burgers, with knives and forks and plates. Cutlery. 
Uh, unlike that cardboard put that McDonald's keep throwing at us. Anyway, so that is a massive positive. The other positive, the heat of the food. Burning hot. The milkshake was brilliant, perfect texture, lovely, lovely, nice, nice creamy milkshake. The burger was, was pucker as well. Honestly, it's the positives are great. It, honest, they're, they're really, really good. It was clean in there, the staff were good, it was they were on the case, you know. It's how wimpy has always been and how it should be. And it just ticked all the boxes. And while we're talking about the positives, we've got to remember this. Is it just me? But if I go to McDonald's and I order a burger and fries, I eat it, and then I'm like, yeah. I'm still hungering, if that makes sense. I'm sure you know exactly what I mean. Well, everyone's been at Macca's pretty much. It, it's, to me, it's what I call, I've always described it as plastic food. It's empty food. You're eating it, and it's substantial, but then it's not, it just doesn't seem to fill the gap. Um, I know some of the bigger, meatier, the newer burgers do, but not to the point that this one did. Honestly, I ate them chips and I ate that burger, and you know what? I walked out of there genuinely stuffed, mate. I felt I had had a feed. I had had a feed, my friends. Unlike Maccas, I mean, I could go in Maccas and I walk out of there. I could, I could run out of there. You know I mean, I, I couldn't have run out of that wimpy yesterday. Trust me. So anyway, guys, all positives. But let's go take a look at. The negatives. Now, to find the negatives in this is difficult, but there is one, and it is this. Oh, yes, people. The price. So, what did I pay? Let's take a look. So, all in all, the total bill come out at £16.90, all right? Uh, £4.20 for that shake. It was good though, it was good. Uh, £9.40 for that double quarter pounder and cheese burger. That is, that's an expensive burger, Brad. <laughs> oh yes indeed. And then chips were £3.30. So in total, like I say, £16.90. Uh, they don't put service charge or anything on like that, which is great. I mean, we see that in an awful lot of restaurants here in the UK now. They just automatically put a 10, 20% service charge on and add it to your bill. What's that all about? Anyway, anyway, we digress again. Um, so all in all, right, it's it's expensive. But you know what? I suppose you get what you pay for when it comes to burgers and things. To be honest, if I went in the Maccas and I ordered myself like a, one of their bigger, you know, chunkier burger meals, you're probably looking at about a tenner, aren't you, with a drink and that? At least, maybe. Yeah, about a tenner. Maybe just a bit under. So there is a big price difference. But you know what? I had cutlery. I had a plate. I had a beautiful, clean table. I had people serving me. That's what you're paying for, guys. And do you know what? It was quality as well. So all in all, what can I say? My experience of Wimpy, very, very good. Will I be going back? Most definitely. And not just for nostalgic reasons. Oh, no, no, no. We may have grew up in these places, but my God, they're still good. If not, probably a bit better. I don't know. Uh, loads of stuff on the menu there, as you can see in the video, but... Mate, are definitely going back for me. Now, anyway, I won't go too often because, as you say, the price there, a bit negative. So, am I giving this out of 10? Do you know what? For me, personally, it's a solid 9, guys. Oh, yes. Very well done, Wimpy. Maccas, go look at a Wimpy bar. You could learn a thing or 10, guys, like how to keep your food warm. Or not warm, hot. How to serve hot food and not lukewarm food. So, all in all, guys, Wimpy... It's where it's at for me. If you've done already, do so hit that subscribe button. But in the comments, most importantly, were your memories of Wimpy? Are you not from this country? Have you never heard of Wimpy before? If you ever visit the UK, check one out. I think you'll like it. I've been OG Duffy Eats. You've been awesome. See you on the next one.